here is something I almost never buy. This wireless USB uh, adapter had a very, very negative one star uh, rating on the shopping website. And all the people said that it uh, kind of works on AC 5 GHz, but on normal uh, 2.4 it's a catastrophe, like 1 megabit maybe. So that's why I bought this. It was uh, on sale for 3 bucks. Yeah, 3 bucks and free shipping. So that's why I bought it. I'm very curious if uh, the whole... Uh, manufacturing series whatever a batch if a whole batch is faulty maybe i'll even take it apart but first i'll try it and i'm curious if this one also uh, behaves so abnormally on the n standard ac should work fine so let's see what's in the box how do we open this? Let's remove the... Oh, just here. And here. And here. And you can steal the codes if you want. <laughs> you can track me down. Okay. User manual, waste of money and paper and all that, especially if you have a crappy product. Why would you print so much? <laughs> Even more. A guide, you put it into the USB port and it works. Oh boy, I don't know how to do that. And here's a CD. I think I have a CD-ROM drive in the attic, but I, in the last five years, I never used the stuff. Such circular with a hole in the middle thing. Okay, maybe I'll download some drivers from the internet if uh, Windows doesn't have any. So yeah, AC51. Yeah, and where's the dongle? Oh, here it is, the cute little fella. How do you uh, open this? Who designed this? Stop! What? Run the setup CD first before connecting the device. No, I will not do that. Because I have faith in Windows 10 and Bill Gates. Bill not so satisfying let's see what it says on the blog there's usually a model number or something yeah mac address and serial number okay usually there's something interesting yeah more random numbers so it's not interesting. I'll try it and if it doesn't work really well then I'll take it apart. So I connected the adapter to the computer without listening to the stupid manual. Oh boy the screen looks awful. Oh boy what what can I do? Yeah, should have used screen capture. This is bad. But let's do it quickly. Uh, so I'm going to connect to the to my Wi-Fi network and disconnect the. Uh, yeah, first I'll disconnect the wired internet and let's connect this one to the 5G first. I mean 5 giga gigahertz. Yes, connect automatically and let's uh, punch in the password. You don't need to know that. 
like that and it connected okay so let's use speed test yeah what it's not working This is slow, I don't know what happened, but we'll see here. Go! Wow! Not bad! Uh, so on the package it says 600 max. No. Four, four thirty-three. Yeah, so that's more than fifty percent. That's good. And the upload. Yeah, that's very very acceptable. Okay. That's awesome. That is with a three millisecond ping. This is very usable. Okay, so let's connect to the N standard, the, which is uh, 150 megabits uh, maximum. So open where? Here. Okay. Uh, connect, disconnect, disconnect this, and connect to the slower one. Connect. Let's input the password maybe yes connecting connecting verifying and connecting okay it did it, so let's check the speed. It should be very awful. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, there is furniture between the router and the, and the, the adapter, so maybe it's okay 40 and 48 considering that it doesn't really have an antenna that is okay for uh, the slower standard at 2.4 gigahertz but uh, yeah it's it's not one of the best and i i can see why they uh, only charged me like three bucks yeah, this really sucks. It's not appropriate for gaming and downloads and stuff. Only on the 5 GHz band. Okay, so it's not as bad as people thought. I read the reviews, they said it uh, works at uh, 1 or 2 megabits. This is certainly usable. With 40, it's for most most things, it's okay. But uh, when you have a gigabit fiber connection, then uh, you want something more. At least on the 5 gigahertz band with uh, uh, 250 megabit. That, that, that's a lot better. Okay, so hopefully this uh, $3 solution will allow me to get rid of a cable to my other computer. I, I just use this one instead of the stupid cable going through the whole room. That's really annoying. And uh, yeah, pleasantly surprised, I have to say.